Yeah, welcome back one and all to Great Dead Redemption 2. I screwed up the audio again, so more Babylon B. Surgeon General's warning to be stamped on all Bibles next year. Warning, Bible reading can cause belief in objective truth, disagreement with societal acceptance, values, faith, and trust in God, and may forever change your life and, eti and eternity. Whatever. Uh, let's take a look at this. This has got to be funny. In an effort to make sure the public is educated about the drastic effects the world of the word of God may have upon its readers, the FDA has announced that beginning next year, all Bibles sold in America must be stamped with a warning from the Surgeon General, which notifies them yep. that the Bible reading can cause belief in objective truth, disagreement with society, societally, societally. Societal accepted values, news, faith, and trust in God, and may forever change your life and eternity. Zoomers need to be aware of the consequences of reading this book, an FDA spokesman said at a Wednesday press conference announcing the change some people pick up on a whim or their peer pressure into reading the scriptures one time. And the next thing you know, they're hooked on they they're hooked and they believe that death and resurrection that the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ was sufficient to atone for their sins against a holy God. Explain that many new readers aren't prepared to find themselves flying in the face of ever changing cultural opinions and believing in things like absolute truth, that God created the universe and everything in it, and that they human that every human is made in the image of God the spokesman praised the efforts of this warning label campaign the effects of the Bible on its users are well documented and undeniable he said now people will know what they're getting into when they pick up this book luckily I don't go for very long before I notice hey I fucked up the audio so yeah I should have enough time to read another one Residents of Florida urge to evacuate, not because of a hurricane, but because it's Florida. There we go. Clean, clean, clean the gun. In a stern warning issued to all residents of Florida, authorities strongly recommended that citizens evacuate the state, not because of a hurricane or anything, just because it's Florida. Officials confirmed that there was no danger from any hurricanes or other tropical storms at this time but suggested that Floridonians still pack up and leave and never come back. Your state is always humid, it's packed to the brim with old people, and you literally have 12 foot long dinosaurs lurking in swamps. Why the hell are you still here? Said a National Weather Service representative. Like, it doesn't make any sense. Seriously, what's up with the dinosaurs? He added, shaking his head in disgust, tinged with fear. While some residents suggested that they like the many attractions and beaches. Officials still strongly warned against staying in the state. If you choose to stay, you are putting your life and future sanity at risk. And that's on you. Further realizations of, of evacuation cited by authorities including large bugs, lots of tourists all the time, and an ever-present possibility of the state sinking into the sea. If old people don't get you, the angry seas will one day consume you. This is your final warning. And this is where I noticed I screwed up the audio. Thanks for listening to my inane rambling. Seriously, go follow the Babylon Bee on Twitter. It's fucking hilarious. Sorry about that. I did it again. I hit, I hit the wrong input. Anyway, Lancaster, still around. Well, there's at least a Lancaster Firearms Company in San Angelo, Texas. Luckily, I caught it early, so there won't be much, if any, post-commentary. I 
very good. Okay then. Goodbye. Done did. Buy a bunch of lures, weapons clean, loaded, and ready to go. So, Dutch, what's Tahiti like, anyhow? No idea. Arthur, there you I don't are. even know where Come it on. is. Alexa, where is Tahiti? Thomas, let's get going. Right you are. No, thank you. <laughs> hey, Bill, you were apparently a France in the cavalry, weren't you? What? When we get there, maybe you could help with the suppression fire. I never said I was no sharpshooter. Oh, that's right. W what was it? The nation's most loyal latrine digger, wasn't that it? <laughs> yeah, well, I fought, and I fought well. So you always tell us. You taught me something you could do with learning. <laughs> Them Indians were savages. Watch your mouth there, boy. Watch it. Only type of savage in these parts are moonshine, swilling, pompous, inbred locals. Dutch, I saw things out there. I don't doubt you saw things, Bill, but your tiny little mind was too small to comprehend what you saw. What you saw was people who lost everything to savagery, savagery of peasants. Failures come from Europe to reap some awful vengeance on God's last creation. Interesting way you boys got uh, preparing for a killing. I'm sorry. No, all the Native American tribes were so peaceful. In fact, some of them were cannibalistic. Well, and some of them like to burn people alive <laughs> in the bucks this? and. Don't you never leave Love well, uh, uh, And others like got. to bury them alive in fire ant hills. Point is, not all of them were oh so friendly and peaceful. Some were, some weren't. Just do your research. Now you pick us up yonder. I got you. Thank you. Good luck to you. Come on, quick. Stay quiet. John, you take the left side. If you see a shot, you take it. Okay? Good luck, gentlemen. Arthur, let's go. I thought that was John. John Marston is the protagonist of the first game. Let's do this as quietly as we possibly can. And stealth is right out the window.
Take that, Greaser! That's not even the right term used for that. A Greaser is a slick-haired pump from the 50s. I would rather have my semi-auto shotgun, but okay, I'll take the double barrel. Damn, that's cool. Son of a bitch. I'm impressed. A Mauser. Name your price. Name your price. Every man have a price. Eh? Okay, okay. No, I surrender. I surrender. I... <clears throat> Should we kill him? Nah. Let's take him to Dutch. Oh. You can carry him. I ain't touching that piece of shit. Where is it? Where is it? I'll be taking that. a good chunk of money and some fine brandy. I think Dutch wants to have a little chat, Mr. Bonte. This is a fine pistol you have here. I'll be keeping that. Yeah, I'm leaving my Scrofield revolver behind. Personal copper. Get to the boat. Quick, get on your friend on that boat. Who 
put him in the front. Bill, you help. Oh, you got him? Oh, come on, Lenny. All right, come on. Let's get out of here. Yep. Oh, hey, big man. We gonna ransom you or what? You're pathetic. Well, I am. Because from where I'm sitting, you're the one deserving of pity, my friend. <laughs> All your men are All dead. Your money. It weren't no match for a bunch of bumpkins. You are nothing. You do nothing. You mean nothing. You stand for nothing. Me, I run a city. <laughs> and when the law catch up to you, you will die like nothing. I am this country. You. You, you are what people are running from. I possess things that you will never understand. Oh, you don't even possess your own men. A thousand dollars to the man who kills him and sets me free. Oh, that's very tempting. What are you going to say now? <laughs> they are even bigger fools than you. No doubt. The law will find you. Already, the dogs are on the way. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're right. You are so right. <laughs> they are good. That smell and filth, huh? So oh. filth has got to be disposed oh. of! Oh. Our friends, the oh. Pinkertons, are gonna come and rescue you, you oh. repulsive little maggot! Oh. Oh. Dutch, that's enough. <laughs> call them now! You call them! <laughs> Dutch, that's enough. <laughs> Your philosophy books cover feeding the fellow, the goddamn alligator, Dutch. The part that covers weakness. That part. I don't know. Well, I do. It ain't nice. I know it. But it is us or him. I figure it might as well be him. Jesus. Revenge is a dish best eaten. Well, Santa Knee has a hundred and five dollar bounty on my head. Yeah, that's just wonderful. I'm going to end this one here. Thank you all for watching. Join me next time on Red Dead Redemption 2 as I... Yeah, fuck, I don't even know what, what Dutch has gone off the deep end.